Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together and today is just a quick rundown of the release notes for version 2.3.5.589. Now the text here is relatively small, they didn't do a whole lot here or in the release notes, but I do want to like let you know something that I encountered today and caused me quite a bit of frustration is that if you are installing GameMaker on a fresh version of Windows, which does not have the required C++ redistributable files already installed, and you try to install this version, it will not work. It will not download and install those files, and you will not even be able to run GameMaker. Now, you should be able to go in and just find the files you need, but I spent quite a bit of time trying to do that and I was not able to. So my fix was to go to GameMaker Studio 2, older versions, and you come down to, uh, let's see, yeah, right here, this one, up to uptodown.com, and you just grab the September 21st build. This one is working fine. It will grab and download the required extra files you need, and then you're all set. So that's a little bug that I found. I've already reported it. Hopefully they get that fixed right away. It's not gonna affect a lot of people, but if you're like me and happen to have a brand new system that you're trying to put GameMaker on, this version is not gonna work for you. Now, what they do change in here that's actually pretty nice is they added the inspector that can now work with the sprite editor. Now, the inspector is something that I've used a little bit here and there. I'm gonna show you kind of what it does. So, over here is the inspector. Now, if you don't see it because maybe it's closed or you've never used it before, you can come up to Windows, click Inspector, and it'll pop up. And it's just a window that you can drag anywhere you want. I'm gonna keep mine right over here. But what's cool here is you can actually just click on anything inside of your asset browser. At least sprites and sequences work for now. I'm not actually sure about objects. Let's do a quick check here. Yeah, it kind of works. So in, when you select an asset, the inspector shows you and it allows you to change some information about that asset really quickly. And this is super handy. And you can even select multiple assets at a time. So if I were to select a couple cards, a couple objects here, you can see that they all show up right here. And then their properties are right here. So I can actually see all the events. I can open up a specific event here. What they did add was support for the sprite editor inside of the inspector. So now you can come in here and these are the same properties that you can change if you actually have the sprite editor open. It's not doing anything new inside of there, but it does allow you to access it really quickly and make changes to the sprite editor or the sprite without having to open up a whole new window for the sprite editor. And you can even compare. So let's say you brought in a bunch of different sprites and you wanna to check to see if those are all, what the time unit is and what the origin is. I can go through and I can see these are all middle center just like they should be. Everything's working proper. I can come in and change the texture settings, the texture settings on each one of these individually. Right now, the default is set to multi-select order where it is the selection order, but you can change it to the asset type. It'll arrange them or you can change it to alphabetical. Just kind of depends on what you want to do. It's a small touch, but I think that it is pretty useful. And although I don't use the inspector too much on my own, except for sequences, which is where you can alter objects, like take them out, but keep the animation you've already got from other objects and sprites inside of there, it's super, super nice. This may get me to start using it a little more. Other than that, uh, they added uh, UI preferences to allow you to redefine hotkeys. So if you, you use your own hotkeys inside of GameMaker, you can now use those pretty much throughout GameMaker however you want. The runtime release notes also came out today, so make sure you update your runtime. I haven't had any issues using GameMaker after updating it. It's just a brand new fresh install that this, this version has an issue with. So they've got a lot of bug fixes, uh, a couple things to be aware of if you're using in-game buffer seek, uh, uh, and building projects with Android or iOS extensions. Uh, check this out in case you need to know those things. Those are two things that do change. Other than that, it fixes issues and that's always a good thing. So not a whole lot here. I just wanted to let you know about my little struggle there and how to use the inspector if that's something you're interested in. But that's the rundown for the release notes. And as I like to say, 
Keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.